Raid Shadow Legends, we're here with our main man, the pimp of the underworld, Seducer. Help me grow, like, and subscribe so I can keep doing content on YouTube. We are taking Seducer through Minnow 15 right now, but we don't even need masteries on him. Everything I recorded was with zero masteries. So let's get off that. Let's go into our video here. We are going to take Seducer, zero masteries into Dragons, Dragons 20, Seducer, Mr. Abs. We're going to take him into Dragons 20 seducing 24 7 and see what he can do in a group without martyr t swift this is for you on discord you're always saying all i do is use martyr 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 here you go so he is my baby martyr he's doing it <laughs> his first his skill three is doing an increased defense to the team by 30 percent, as you just saw the pop-up and he's doing block debuffs now everything's going by really fast he has an aoe on a skill two that does a 30% decrease attack and he has taunting gear on he has taunting artifacts he's taunting anyways i mean look at his body he's flaunting it he's making all the people in the ogre and all the ogre and tribe fatties jealous so you know they want to kill him you know they want to go after him so he's getting that taunt up and we're going to see quite a bit of decreased attack and taunt on these waves on these enemies which really helps out a lot it's a rare uh seducer is a rare void undead champion so he's pretty accessible i mean being that he's void it's a little bit harder but a lot of people do have him so it gives us it gives us options in the rare category to bring somebody into 20 dungeons we're gonna go over dragons 20 which we're doing here here we go seduction time so he is doing look at all those taunts we've got at least three taunts and at least three attack downs there we go three provokes three attack downs it helps so much Whenever you provoke, whenever you taunt somebody, they can only do their skill one. That's it. They will not do any of their special moves. They will not do anything else. And usually, skill ones, even in these level 20, stage 20 dungeons, don't hit that hard. They're not that bad. If you can, <laughs> if you have good gear, you know, just if you have just regular gear, you come in here. If you can get taunts off, if you can get stuns off, if you can use those artifacts to your advantage, those four set artifacts, that, artifacts. <laughs> the two stuns the do taunts the do freezes anything you need to get 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 through there to get through the waves then you can work on your strategy for the boss and you can use you know champions that aren't epic and legendary so it works out well i didn't do any grinding with seducer because i did i don't have that kind of gear on him and i didn't do any arena with seducer now i've seen he's defense based champion he does all of his damage off of defense i've seen him hit really hard in arena before look t-swift <laughs> no martyr I've seen him do some crazy things, so I know he can put out some damage, just like any any, any champion. You get crit, you get crit damage, you get defense on him, he's good to go. And you get some speed so you can keep up. Now, right now, you see I'm on a fast team. I have I have Painkeeper lowering our cooldowns. I have <laughs> Apothecary. I'm trying to think. I've got Apothecary speeding us up, getting us those speed, getting us those turns so where we're two turning the, the, the waves and the bosses like I always talk about. You're getting two turns over their one. So you're resetting your cooldowns faster. You're getting everything back up. You're dropping off debuffs faster. You're doing everything you need to do to have the advantage in all these battles, even against this dragon here. So what really kills this dragon though in this one is Bad L's poisons. Bad L poisons on this dragon are very strong, very powerful. So if you can if you're having problems with the dragon if you can take care of the waves but you're having problems with the actual dragon bring in somebody with poisons or put some toxic gear on some people and you'll see a big difference that's if you have it easy going through the waves and usually if you have it easy going through these waves because they're pretty hard you won't have a problem with the dragon but i'm working on that i'm working on an all rare dragons team and i'm getting closer i mean look at what i've got here i am getting closer and closer to an all rare dragons team so we will go over that again seducer has no masteries right now He's got nothing. I'm running masteries in the background behind this. He's almost he's almost to the point to where he can have War Master. When this video was edited last night, he had none. He had zero zero masteries. So we will go over his masteries. The gear I have on him right now, right after this battle, it's almost done. Then we're gonna take a quick intermission, break time, and go over everything the seducer has. We'll check out his abs. We will see what um, what gear I have on him. I want to switch out some gear. I don't have him as defensive as, as I want him. I want him to be able to you know pull that aggro do the provokes get people attacking him but i don't have the gloves necessary with the provoke gear to keep him to get him really tanky right now but he's still pretty tanky and we'll see the gear i haven't even six starred ascended him as you can see because i need to do that for a mission so right now we are going to go over to let's see let's see let's see we got we don't need that let's get rid of that 
out of here. Okay, I have so much gear. Let's check on his gear. I'm gonna pause this. We're gonna check on his gear and his abs before our epic Golem 20 battle. We did have an epic Ice Golems 20 battle. We are gonna close this down. Go back over here to the grind. Let's see where we're at. All right, let's stop this really quick. So again, I've been grinding him up. I'm so close to War Master on him, but we still, I still filled out all the other masteries just about 10 minutes ago, and I filled out all of his support masteries except for his most vital two, but you'll see what they are, no problem. And then you'll get to see what kind of gear he's rocking and how he's doing. So we've been running him through here, boom, boom, boom. Seducer really is a good champion. He's not a bad champion at all. Let's go over here to, to champions. I have it kind of boxed right now so you can see everything well so my head isn't blocking anything. A lot of people say my head <laughs> blocks. My, my face and head is blocking stuff sometimes. So we're going to go to Seducer here. We have, let's go over his overall stats right now, then we'll go over everything else. So he's almost at 30k HP. He has good defense at 3,000. He's got decent speed, which is fine. And he's crit and crit damage. We're not really worried about that. I have too high, too high crit damage for what I want. I want a very tanky seducer. I want him for PvE. I want him for dragons. I want him for ice column. I want him for any kind of content that I need somebody to come in there and help me out, get me through waves, get me to the boss, and then take care of the boss. So I'll show you why. His gloves right now on the provoke set are crit damage. I didn't have any other options. I literally do not have any other provoke sets. All I have is a weapon, a helm, a shield, and gloves for provoke. I don't have a chest or, or boots that are even speed or defense. And same thing here. I don't have anything defensive. So I had to use this set. They're not bad though. Let's go over everything really quick. We've got speed. We've got defense speed. This one was pretty nice legendary and a lot of accuracy. That one is really nice. This one too is speed, crit damage, whatever. But this is all I had. So then we went over here. We've got, we've got defense here. We've got a little bit of speed, a little bit of crit. And then we went with some speed on here and we need some accuracy because we're our accuracy is only at let's see the overall accuracy overall accuracy is only at 93 if you're doing level 20 dungeons and you want to get those i want to get that decrease attack on him because he has a 100 percent chance to apply it's aoe on a three turn cooldown i've got painkeeper in there lowering my cooldowns i've got apothecary in there speeding us up so we get you know back to our skills faster over the enemy so i want to make sure they're landing because that's going to help us survive through those runs let's go over his skills right now we just went over artifacts oh yeah his his uh accessories he's only got this on and this on so i mean really as you can see he can improve a lot i can go 16 16 i can get defense here which is what i want defense on the gloves to make him tankier and to do more damage still survive and then i want a banner with accuracy which is fine but again i'm not going to take him to six star because i need to do one force six star send for missions and then i'll be right at arbiter i'll be able to do you know, do my stuff to do damage 100 million on the clan boss and then get Arbiter. So we'll do a video on that. I've just got to wait a couple days till Force opens up or whenever Force opens. Could be today. I don't think, I think it's Friday maybe. Um, I'll, I'll check again. And then I'll be able to six star seducer, get the banner on him and make him even more effective than what you saw right now. So right now he's not even that effective. Right now you could have 16, 16, 16, 16 banner with, it, with, with accuracy on him. So everything you've seen him do, he can do even better. He can be more defensive. He can, he can lay down the debuffs even more. And this is what he does. I mean, look, the guy is a rare, he, look at his aura, 25% chance, 25% uh, additional HP to all allies. So already his leader skill is amazing for a rare. He has a chance to put people to sleep by 45% chance on attack one to sleep for one turn. That's fine. If you're manually, if you're autoing, it's just going to get bumped off. And then he attacks all enemies on a three turn cooldown, 100% chance to apply the 25% decrease attack. It's not the 50% big one that Martyr has on her skill three, but this is on a three turn cooldown. Martyr's is on a four turn cooldown. Hers always taunts too. Now, don't get me wrong, she's a legendary, she's amazing. But this guy with the taunt artifacts on, with the provoke artifacts on, is like a mini Martyr. With the artifacts, you have a chance 30% chance to place provoke debuff. So whenever you do that AOE, you've got a 30% chance on each of those five targets that are up, you know, when you face a new wave to provoke. That means they're not doing any of their special moves right away, which normally are the ones that really hurt and the ones that could wipe out your party if you're not strong enough to do it. Or if you're trying to bring in rares like I am, I'm trying to do an all rare team for 20 stuff. So here it is. So he's going to provoke right on his AOE. You're going to get a few provokes in there and you're going to pull that, you know, you're going to alleviate all that pressure you have from facing that wave from getting beat up by all their special skills right away. It's gonna help out a lot. 
And then on top of that, you're gonna place the 20, 25% decrease attack. So, and then he has his skill, his skill three is amazing too. It's on a four turn cooldown. It gives you increased defense of 30% and it gives you two turn block debuffs. Two turn block debuffs, where can't you use that? You can use that everywhere in waves, dragons, golems. You can use that everywhere in the dragon 20, uh, the Dragon 20 boss when he does his when he does his exhale from inhale when he when he tries to place stuns on you if you don't get him down low enough and then even still if you do get him down low enough he's gonna place poisons on you bam that right there stops all of it ice columns ice columns the two champions on the side one of them does heal block and one of them does decrease defense so I'm gonna run up through ice columns 20 in just a minute we're gonna go to that next and it'll stop that the ice column the main ice column boss tries to stun you if you don't have his champions down he has a higher percentage to do that and if you don't have his champions down, he, he will ignore defense too. But that's totally different. We have an Ice Golem guide on that. So this guy is a phenomenal rare. He also has a passive, which is pretty cool. I like to have these additional pass passives and cool things to champions when they're with somebody else. But I don't really have a place for Temptress right now. <laughs> I wish this was Eviscerator. Eviscerator and him and Seducer on some things would be really cool. But um, yeah, so... I don't really I don't even if I have her I don't like him wasting a turn and doing this mm -hmm. ally protect to himself but, but he does get a block damage I know it could be interesting maybe that will be our new all rare team that we're gonna start running through level 20 dungeons with so let's go over his masteries real quick again I didn't get a chance to finish his masteries we are only at what what do we have here we went for crit crit damage shield additional life because I don't have life steal gear on him when he's below 50% health maybe he'll get an AoE then get some life back it's not gonna be much but it'll be something we'll get a chance to lower his uh, skill cooldowns skill 2 and skill 3 if he does enough damage it's just a chance there and then we're just gonna take this one all the way over to war master I've got 295 I'm almost at 350 for war master so there we go war master we're gonna go to it and then on the support tree like I do with all my support guys or any of my guys who do buffs and debuffs I'm gonna try to get him a, a, an additional Every time it wears off, gets removed, gets replaced, a buff or debuff, he's going to have a 30% chance to get a 10% turn meter. Boom, boom, there we go. Same old stuff. 5% chance to lower his skill cooldown, which I always go for. Now, the other two I'm going to get once I do his masteries completely, completely will be this one. 30% chance to extend the duration of any buff cast on him. So you can't do block damage, unkillable, revive, or death. But you can get a three-turn block debuffs, which he does, and a three-turn shield. So we will take it. If I get a three-turn block debuff, that is actually better than anything else. I would love to have it. Then we're going to get a chance to extend his his uh, his his debuffs. So if I do the attack down of 25%, we're going to get a chance to do that for three turns instead of two turns. So you just can't beat that. I mean, these are things you need when you're trying to get through those waves. They're hard in level 20, especially harder if you're trying to do it with rares, uncommons, just you know, a, a lower account, free to play, or an unlucky account. This is the way to do it. So once I get it leveled up, here's what I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have War Master, and then I'm gonna have this one to extend, and this one to extend my buffs and debuffs. And then Seducer will be good to go. Then I'll be able to sit here and go over here and, and ascend him in a couple days. Once I get my missions done for the Force, then it, then after Force, it tells me to ascend a Void, and this is who I just made, so I'm not gonna waste that yet. And then we're good. All right, let's get on. That is Seducer, <laughs> there he is. Check out that six pack in bot. He's hitting the gym, he's doing his crunches, he's doing his run, he's like Saitama, one punch man, 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups every day. We are gonna go over to, let's close this down. Actually, let's get him back in action while we're talking. Sorry if this video is running a bit long. We are gonna go over here to Dungeons. We're just one more minute, I promise, not even a minute. Just a couple seconds, boom, here we are. We're gonna throw him in here, we're gonna get him going, all right. So he's back at it, Seducer is doing what he does. We're gonna complete this out. So here we are. <laughs> we're gonna go over to let's see if I can skip forward a little bit okay so we're over in ice golems ice golems 20 right okay we're doing the first wave seducer always starts out with his shield his 30% increased defense and his debuff block now these guys are hitting I don't know what it is I, I keep increasing seducers defense and HP like you like you've seen I only have crit damage gloves I need more defense on them I've only got, you know, this is level 20 stuff. Level 20 stuff is supposed to be, you're supposed to go in there with maxed out gear. I mean, that's just the whole thing with level 20. They also probably want you to have your Great Hall up a little bit, to have a little bit, you know, your Great Hall can go up to 20% additional defense, 20% additional 
HP, 80 accuracy, it can do amazing things. So you keep at your PVP, get your great haul up. Also, I think my PVP ranking is down because I put three people in there just to lower it a little bit. Doesn't matter. He is taking it. He's able to get by here. He can be much stronger. So that's all we need to know. We have right now, you can see two decreased attacks. Those are from Seducer. It wouldn't be from anybody else because <laughs> nobody else in the team can do it. So there we go. So we're making our way through it. It's slow, yeah. But I made a team here without Martyr, without Bad L. I wanted to bring in somebody. Look, almost this whole team, you can't say it's a rare team, of course. We've got an Epic, we've got a Legendary in there, but it's almost a fusible rare team, right? We've got we've got three rares, a fusible champion, Rosin Scarhide, and we've got our little Piggy Iggy that almost everybody has Steel Skull leveled up for the clan boss to do damage. If they've had him, they've seen him, he does amazing damage and he does support heals. And he's good. He's good in a lot of things. If you need to bring him in Fire Knights Castle 20, you can bring him in there as well. He has a two hit. He does work in there, no problem. So we're gonna make it through this. The rounds are gonna go a little bit slow. What I want to what I want to get to is the epic ending battle where we fought the <laughs> the, the ice golem here. So let's go skip forward. So Seducer is pulling it off. I mean he's doing his his provokes, he's doing his attack down. He's doing basically what we need to do to get through this. Now, when I re-gear some people and I make a new video with all rares or close to it, we're gonna have even more, we're gonna, we're gonna use even more of the artifacts to help us get through it all. We're gonna use artifacts, four set artifacts, provoke and stun to help us to where we can do it with lower grade champions. And really that's the only way I see doing it unless you have your, again, your great hall maxed out with 20% additional HP, defense, all the other goodies, as well as a high arena ranking and all that kind of stuff. But not everybody's got that. Not everybody has time to do it all. And not everybody, you know, has all those amazing things. So I want to do videos to help out everybody out there and not just show legendaries. Of course, that's always been my goal. It's always what I've been trying to do. So we're going to skip here to the end because I think we've been doing this for quite a while. So we're fighting the Ice Golem. He is hitting hard. He's hitting my Seducer hard, especially if you get a decent defense, decreased defense debuff from the right uh, champion on the Ice Golem. Do keep in mind that the Ice Golem's champions on his side are both void. So even though I've got Rosin in here, it's still not that bad, especially with fighting the boss. It's really not that bad. Here we go. The only thing bad about it is the AI where where Rosin will never do his, his skill three to decrease their turn meter and you have to do that manually. But that's supposed to be being worked on. So we'll see. Let's go on to the end, to the end, to the end. Because we're done talking about Seducer and everything he can do. He, he, he really is an amazing champion. Yeah, they're the lower... They're the lower debuffs, they're the lower buffs, but they're still good, man. You, you can't discount you know, the usefulness of negative 25% attack and the 30% increase defense on your team, along with the, the debuff immunity. Like right now, if we had the debuff immunity, <laughs> we wouldn't have gotten this, this, this decreased defense and we wouldn't have lost people here at the end. We just wouldn't have. We wouldn't have taken all that nasty damage from that one-two setup of them dropping our defense down so much and then the boss coming in and slapping us around. So I took it off auto there for a minute. I did our, uh, I did Rosin's AOE decrease, decrease turn meter to try to get everything down. It's auto, it's back on auto. Whenever the boss is down below its thresholds, it's just gonna start attacking the boss now. It's gonna go auto on the boss because there's no other threshold to meet to where he'll do his crazy AOE and bring a champion back to life. So that's fine. We can just let it keep attacking the boss. But it is a pretty epic battle. We are down to it. We're gonna skip a little bit more to where we are at just the two of them taking it on okay so here we are we are so close to winning this can mr mcabs pull this off let's see let's see him go whoa oh, it's not looking good it is not looking good seducer come on man you gotta hit the gym bro <laughs> oh oh god he got nailed again this decrease again he got unlucky yeah yeah apothecary we did it we pulled it off again he got unlucky he didn't have his his block debuffs up at that time and we got hit with that decreased defense it just kept happening it was unlucky that's the way it is anyways guys that is seducer thank you so much for supporting me again i have so much fun doing these videos i have fun playing raid shadow legends and any other game that's coming out pokemon masters is going to come out soon i'll be doing videos for that as well i don't know if i'll make a new channel or do a little bit on here and then make a new channel as well but you know stick at it we can do this with all rares it can happen and i do appreciate you all and i will see you in the next video